Hello and welcome to the Virtual Groom Room. My name is Jack, your host, and today I'm bringing you another shaving video, but a shaving video with a twist. So my aim today is to battle off the, what I would call, semi-adjustables. This is your Rockwell 6S, and this is your Carve Shaving Christopher Bradley Razor. Um, one is made in Canada, one is made in the USA. One is made of brass and one is made of stainless steel. However, the similarity they have is the fact that they have interchangeable base plates. And these interchangeable base plates will change the efficiency or aggression of your shave. Um, I'd say these are the most two, the, the two popular razors that do this, double-edged razors anyway. So I'm looking forward to putting both of those to the test. Inside those, I have two fresh Persona Lab Blues, so they're gonna go in. And here I have the soap I'm gonna be using. This is Lather Bros Flora Colossus. The scent on this is Lavender, Asia pear, Asian Pear, and Cedar, wonderful soap, very easy to lather. The soap in this shave probably isn't the most important thing, because I'm just gonna be comparing both video, both razors, but we're gonna do it anyway. My post shave today is going to be Mel Grooming Wildflowers, which is a um, lavendery, flowery scent. It's wonderful. Okay, so yeah, I'm going to go away, prep my face, kind of lather up, or at least load the brush, and I'll see you guys for the first pass. See you in a sec. Hey guys, so my face is wetted here. I've uh, lathered up the puck, but let's get the loose soap off of it and uh, get to lathering. So I guess my purpose today is to really find out not so much which one is the best, but which one suits me more. Um, as you guys would know, if you've watched my uh, card review, I think that razor poses some of the best value on the market. For me, both in performance and uh, just general build quality, so. However, I've used the Rockwell multiple times and I also think that's a fantastic razor. So it's about using them side by side and seeing which one overall I prefer. So let's lather up here. Paint this on it first. One thing I really enjoy about Mother Bros is I, I've, I've had at one point three soaps from them. Always really easy to lather. I mean, soaps tend to be a bit harder to lather when they're a bit thirstier or they're not very thirsty at all. I find the, this formula to be right in the middle and it's the sort of soap I tend to pick up when I'm in a rush. It's kind of perfect for that really. Because I've got a good lather pretty quick and uh, I don't need to do anything special to get a good one going. Um, Plan for the shave is I'm going to do two passes, um, no cleanup pass today. I don't need one, I just have about 24 hours of growth, so. Paint water in here, get it lathered to an acceptable level, and then we get on with the shave. I'm 
pretty happy with that. Okay, so we're gonna do the carve on the left side of my face and the rock well on the right side of my face. So I start with the carve. Man, that's smooth. <laughs> Okay, that's a, it's a very good razor. <laughs> I have done a fairly decent amount of research to which, um, look at that. I've done a fairly decent amount of research as to what kind of plates marry up with either. Uh, I'm using the B plate and I'm using the number three plate on the Rockwell. Okay, that's one half of the face done. Incredibly smooth. Um, kind of wouldn't really expect anything different from the carve. Again though, I wouldn't really expect anything different from the Rockwell either, so let's compare it. That's also very smooth. Um, I wouldn't say it's as smooth as the carve though, personally. Still a very smooth razor. <laughs> Okay, uh, a very smooth first pass for both races there. Let me wash off my face and we'll have a feel around. Okay. So more importantly, I'm grading on two things. I'm grading on efficiency and smoothness, so. The calf side is more efficient. Um, it's taking down the hair quite a bit more than the Rockwell side. And my hair pattern grows in similar ways, both sides. I also have a little bit of irritation from a few days ago on this side. And it doesn't feel additionally irritated at all with the calf. I mean, they're both close, but I can... The calf is more efficient on that side. Let's, let's try on the second pass. Okay, so some advantages over each. Um, I would say an advantage to owning the Rockwell or buying the Rockwell over the car is that you get all the plates with it. You don't need to buy the plates separately, which is a good thing. 
with the carve, it's about $90 US with the plate of choice. And for me, if you buy a C, probably not gonna buy a G plate um, or an F plate. So you're probably gonna go C and then a plate close to it. And then that's, that's your it then, you know. With the Rockwell, it's exactly the same. I don't see someone shaving on one and then shaving on six or shaving on three and then shaving on six. It's pretty unlikely. Face feel is much different. Kind of the aim of the shave at that point is much different. I think having the freedom to choose though is nice. So that's definitely an advantage for the Rockwell over the car. Let's go carb side first across the grain. Butter. Butter, yeah. Um, I've not come in this, come into this with any conceptions. I'm telling you what I feel now. And this razor feels like a knife through butter. Whenever I use it, whatever beard growth, it just doesn't matter. It just does exactly what it's supposed to do. Go through hair and leave the shave as comfortable as possible. With no irritation. Rockwell side. So I feel a little more resistance. Not loads. Um, I mean, it's still very smooth. But is it as smooth as the car? No, not, not for me. Um, this is, actually. On my neck, feels as smooth. I think it's probably the difference in material types. I'm also unsure whether the stainless has polish or not, and that would make a big difference to how it glides across the skin. I mean, Rinse off the face and find out. So on the general fill, they felt fairly even, um, but we'll find out. No, the, the calf side was more efficient. Um, definitely more efficient on the neck. So I'm very sensitive here. And I tend to feel everything here, so I'm set on the second pass to do it separately. I feel the blade angle is a bit more intuitive on the on the Rockwell 6S. But you'll see in here if you can. There's slightly more steepness in the blade angle for the Rockwell. If you can see the blade, the blade curves a bit more in the head, and I think that makes a big difference to how smooth the razors are. 
hope you can see that. I think it makes a big difference, and that's why I think the Carve is a smoother razor. Very nice. Okay, let's uh, go through the um, face wash post shave routine here. And then what we'll do is I'll come back to the post shave and I'll give you my conclusion. Lots of lather still in the brush. I mean, I really didn't need to lather for very long. This stuff whips up a very good lather. In such a short space of time. Let me finish doing this and I'll uh, see you for the post shave. I'll see you in a sec. Hey guys, it's our post shift time. So before I apply the aftershave, let's have a good feel around here. Mustache is about even. I mean, the, the, these parts, they're close, but the carve is closer on the, on the cheeks and the neck. Yeah, it is. Um, so let's go through the post shave and I'll give you the conclusion. So let's uh, apply some Wildflowers by Mel Grimmick. Give it a good shake. Don't need too much of this stuff because it's full of that, packed full of good ingredients and less is more. I mean, I feel back very little from this stuff anyway, but there's definitely more of a response on this side, on the Rockwell side, than the calf side. A little bit on the calf side, but really not much. Um, 
If you came here for confirmation bias, this isn't this isn't the place for you. You know, I am telling you what I feel on my face. It's at, at once, and I'm being completely honest. I have allegiances with no one. Both of these products have been bought by me for me, and that's it. So, what would I recommend? And let me tell you about the shave. Um. I recommend both of the razors, they're both fantastic. I prefer the material of this guy, of the Rockwell. I'm more of a stainless fan. Brass, I'm not particularly a fan of how it patinas over time. However, I feel this is marginally the better shaver. Um, for my face anyway. Uh, I feel as if it's smoother and it's more efficient. The blade gaps obviously are a bit different and that's to be expected because they're, I think, I mean, they're not hugely different just from the eye here, but the Rock Rockwell, this is a 0.85 blade gap and this is quite a lot smaller. If any of you know what the number three blade gap is, tell me, it, it is quite a lot smaller. However, judging it based on two passes, this still got me closer. I don't normally do three passes. I don't, so this still did a better job over the space of two passes than this. I also felt the carve was a smoother razor, and I put that down to the fact that the angle on the head, or the angle of the blade on the head, is much less steep, and the cutting, the cutting is, how can I explain? It's more natural because of that, you know? Because you're adding the incline, doing it with this, I think to a degree it might be a bit more forgiving on your skin because you're you're increasing the angle consistently because of how taut the angle is. I mean, there is definitely a difference there. Um, my conclusion really is both races are fantastic. You won't really go wrong with either of them. If I was to pick your only one and only razor, I would personally pick this guy because I don't think there's a better double-edged razor on the market than this. I honestly don't. Um, if you like, if you're a new shaver and you want to find different things, try them both because they're both very, very good and then neither of them will let you down. But this, I'd say this is my preference. This is a fantastic razor. This is well more than good enough for you to use every day, but yeah, it's, it's excellent. They're both very good. My preference lies with the carve. That is the shave today, guys. Um, again, any fanboys of any of the razor, I don't particularly want to hear. Uh, I give my opinions, and my opinions are my opinions. Uh, if you prefer either one of them, put in the comments down below. I don't, I'd like to hear your opinions. Apart from that, it's your host, Jack, from the Virtual Grim Room. Have a very good weekend, and goodbye for now.